Hey gang, Scott Davenport here and welcome to Impost. Thanks for joining me today. Well, today I'm in on one photo raw with the sunshine filter and I wanna show you something. This actually applies to all filters in photo raw, but something I happen to be using with the sunshine filter, I wanna call it out. Before we dive into the video, Real quick, if you are enjoying the videos, I'd love you to subscribe to the channel. And if you're really, really enjoying my work, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Links are below the video and I would really much appreciate it. Now, let's have a look at this photo here. I took this in La Jolla. I showed you this outing earlier this week on In the Field. And I've done some basics to this photo already, adding in some color and some contrast. And I wanna add kind of a soft glow going on here. And I'm gonna use the sunshine filter to do that because sunshine gives me a few things I can do here. I can adjust the warmth so I can even add just a little bit more warmth, a touch of glow. Now, as soon as I start adding glow to things, it's like, you know, the, the, the little hairs in the back of my neck go up saying, dark things don't glow. Make sure you don't ride this too hard. Or if you do, go ahead and add a luminosity mask. And that's what I'm going to do here. Now, this is something we can do in all filters in on one, but that's not even what I wanted to show you here. Now I can push this glow a little harder and I'm only affecting the bright areas. But the thing I found I was using in this particular filter is the density slider. Now this affects the overall strength of the entire mask. And let me turn on the mask and let me switch the view of that mask into grayscale. Now we're looking at the mask. This is the luminosity mask that Anwan created for us. Now with the density slider, I can start adjusting the overall strength of the entire mask. And I found for this particular scene, let me turn the view off and I just started playing with this slider. Um, I found that I was getting a, a nicer result playing with the density as opposed to trying to adjust the glow independently. So I ended up somewhere around here with the glow and then backing off the density. Again, I'm watching the darker areas to make sure that they aren't getting too soft because you know, naturally they wouldn't glow. I'm settling in around here. Now, so just before that sunshine filter and after, it's, um, it's opening up the scene some. I think I might even take some of that uh, that effect off of the sky just to keep that dark. So let's go ahead and just open up our brush here. Maybe just even do a, a, a second pass. I'll do like maybe a lower opacity there just to take some of that out of there. And I'll clean this mask up a little bit later, but just so you get an idea of what I'm doing here, just because I've used the uh, single clicks and the sliders in the masking area doesn't mean I can't adjust the mask later, but it's this density slider that is often overlooked and it really does have some good uses. And so I found that to be very handy on this photo. I'm gonna finish this one up, basically add a vignette and uh, maybe a touch of uh, extra sharpness to the fingers of water play around with color a little bit more perhaps. We'll see how my mood goes. I'm gonna take a break from the photo actually, come back to it, but I wanted to share that density slider option with you. That is available in every filter in Photo Raw, so it's not unique to Sunshine, but it is something that I found to be quite useful with the Sunshine filter. That's gonna do it for the video. If you got questions about photography, hit me up in the comments below. I wanna keep it private, send me a message through my website. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport and happy shooting.